Thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. It's coming down. Or soon to be. Hello, my dear ones. Extreme pleasure, always, to uh, sit and talk with you for a while. Crazy's going on everywhere. It's a crazy time, ain't it? But you see how this is fitting in to you're getting strong, strengthening up, your all your weaknesses are being worked out of you you know when you come into us and you want to be healthy remember there's the spiritual side like it or not so you're going to have emotional detoxes going on with this you're going to have mental detoxes your your mind your emotions everything is going to be cleaned out and my best advice for everyone out there let go doesn't matter let your toxins go let your emotions go let your thoughts go. Live in the now. It just doesn't matter because it's going to pull you there anyway. But what do we got going on? Oh, you got to see these. You got to see these. This is Shannon. She's been with me a long time now. Most of you know Shannon by now. Now, she's been dealing with lifetime psoriasis. And my uh, uh, star fruit tree just busted nuts all over the place. So she went on a, a star fruit fast. And uh, wow. But let me show you the difference in four years. Now, this is not an all raw. She, there's plenty of times she wasn't all raw. But let me show you the difference in four years. So this is her first picture. Now there's a lot of ink on here that makes it look like blue, but it's just ink, blue ink, all over the place. All right. Now, take a look at this one. Before and after. I don't know if you can see the tremendous changes. You just can't. There you go. See that eye? Yeah. See that? Look at that. That to that. From that, actually, to that. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. I love it. But if you're in German iridology, you have fixed eyes. They don't change. And I've always said, do you believe in that? You're not a good healer. Then you have no idea about true iridology. And that's Ellen and all you guys out there that spit on uh, oh, Doc's name. And uh, I know quite well because we both looked at German iridology quite a bit. And uh, no way. So uh, there is no such thing as fixed anything. That's not even life. Nothing static in life. Uh -uh. Everything has its movements. And you got two poles to move from. Positive and negative. <laughs> Good and bad. I don't know. Whatever you want to call them. So nothing ever stays the same. And there's nothing fixed like that. That's crazy. That's a lack of spirituality in that. And, uh, but Shannon, kudos to you. Now, I try to do a lot of videos to help you guys out in every way possible because some of you have proved just what my goal has been is to help you all find a new level of, of happiness and life and health and maybe even into a new field where you can help others find that same happiness and the same feeling good and all that without too much trouble. Uh, that's why I have the classes and the schools, and I try to make it as to take the complex, what you might find complex, like that, Pat, that that video on Pat. That wasn't too complex, but you take the complex and make it the simplistic, because only the mind likes to play with complexities, and it fools itself. It's that the the Joker. So it is constantly playing hide and go seek with itself. 
So if you want to know truth, you have to use awareness or consciousness, not preconditioned thoughts. And that's all the mind has to offer. Your mind has no original thought to it. So I try to do videos to help you guys, but some sometimes people are getting uh, out of balance and there's some of these retreats that are going on in Costa Rica and stuff. I want you guys to be careful. Know the people if you can. Um, I don't know what to say about it. You come in and want to do a video with me and I promote your stuff and then maybe you don't act as ethical as you should or should. I don't know. All I've got to say is that I'm about acting ethically. We are an incredible group of people that know the truth of how to turn this planet totally around. You guys know how to heal anything out there. You guys are good. And some of you guys are curing people so fast it's not even funny. So it's unbelievable what you guys are doing with a sim simple bit of knowledge of how things really are and how things really work. The same thing spiritually too. You can spend lifetimes chasing, chasing the answers of God when all you have to do is stop and take a look. Yeah, so it's all fun stuff. But if you notice, people are going nuts out there. It's getting crazy. So vibrationally and everything else, things are swinging. The poles are moving fast. So get your stability. Stay, be alone for a while. Spend some time with yourself where you get to know and love yourself, not the physical body. You as an expression of, of the divine. Who are you expression of? If there's only one thing that exists, then who are you? But for those putting on these, uh, these um, retreats and stuff, I expect you, if you're using my name, I expect you to, to act ethically and straightforward, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. I expect you to uh, conduct yourself at the highest level possible. You know, we are spiritual beings and we offer a tremendous amount of awareness and, and knowledge and, and truth. And I expect our group to act like that and not like monkeys. You know, so, you know, get, if you're using things to alter your consciousness, okay. But remember, you are that golden key. You've got to find the you in there. Well, there's only one thing blocking you. Actually, there's a couple of things blocking you from understanding who you really are. What was the biggest block you have to understanding, really, are you the physical body? Are you a human, a monkey, whatever, or, or what are you really? No, because that body keeps, seems to die away after a while. So yeah, I see, yeah, we know we leave the body, so we leave the body. Who's we that's leaving the body, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Jesus said, you are the living truth. Buddha said, I get it. Don't, don't give a crap about anything. All these are little jewels to where you find truth. And you don't find truth anywhere but where you are. That's it. And um, in a world that's going nuts, the one thing you can't trust is your mind. And you will find that when you get to that training, it's interesting. Because uh, the mind is the main instrument of creation. So we're learning that. We've done a lot of videos on that. But when we do retreats and stuff, I'm going to try to bring down all levels of people. As you get going and stabilize, we're going to try to bring in all levels of people. And a bunch of uh, people acting like monkeys and stuff at a retreat, I can't recommend that to some levels of people. So that's all I'm saying is that have love in your heart, act ethically, you know, give truth out. Be a Pythagorean or Socrates if you want. 